Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Happy Saturday morning. We're going to do a cold start on this 540 and then we will uh, talk about it after, uh, after we've heard it run. poles than I expected. Uh, I've had this saw for over oh, almost a year. Uh, if you look through the video history you'll see a, a video back. Yeah, I would say it was sometime last spring. Anyway, I would picked up a bunch of parts, uh, 8800 540 parts, trying to get enough to put together an 8800 for myself. And in all that process I ended up with this 540 that I'd intended to use parts off of and then I realized I didn't have to so anyway it was a good runner then but the diaphragm in the carburetor must have been stiff and even though I was able to get it to start this uh, you know a couple days ago when I shut it off and came back the next day the cylinder was just full of gas uh, it had sat there and percolated that diaphragm was stiff enough it wasn't letting the needle seat so anyway got a fresh carb kit in it Beyond that, I mean, the saw is not a perfect saw. You can see, let me see if I can get this camera off without shaking you guys around too much. There's a few quirks on the saw that I want to point out. That Sony makes a cute little plug that's so hard to get to. There's some welding that's been done there, and this is some touch-up paint that I used. You can see there's a piece of the cylinder shield just broken out right there. I'm going to have to get this saw out and hopefully we can get underneath it here and get a focus. You can see some more welding was done there. You can see there's a little patch on the oil tank. I've never seen a drop of oil come out of there so I don't know what was going on. does have the UT tag. I don't know that that's going to focus enough that you can read it, but that's an HI, which has got to put this thing somewhere around 89 or 90, I think. It is the full wrap. You can see that it's oiling just fine. I turned that down to setting 1 because setting 3 that it was on was just puking like crazy. Uh, clutch looks pretty good to me there's a little wear on it but it it goes right out and holds so nothing broken over here that I've been able to find it is missing the home light sticker up top there's a slight crack back here in that little piece of plastic so anyway yeah, like I say it's not a perfect saw I have repainted that muffler and I'm going to hose this thing off one more time. The process of getting all that fuel out of the cylinder, you know, I drained what I could, but then, you know, it, uh, it left behind a little scum of stuff. And you can see it over here on the, the handlebar too. So I'll clean that up again so that the uh, saw looks like what was in the pictures. I do have a chain break. It's not 100% original, and I'll show you that in just a second. That other video, there's a couple videos, one that I dedicated to finding a replacement flag for one of these things, but this does have the complete band. The rubber shield's torn up a little bit there. It's not a big deal that I can tell. Adjuster's in place, and so is the, the guard there. So the handle, Believe it or not, that thing is from a Homelite 300. 
looks almost exactly the same but when you read that label and it starts talking about uh, 325 pitch chain that's the really the only only way you'd know that it was not from this saw but you can see the attachment points are exactly the same I used my own pivot nut and bolt I believe the right one is out there on eBay but I didn't want to spend the money and this does pivot just fine so let me remount the camera so that I can show you that works great and the decal is actually in decent shape on this side this one's pretty tore up but you know this there is a decal on eBay right now with a with a starter housing if you're really that inclined but for a 540 it's in decent shape it's not in great shape you know it's not uh, your pristine collector's model that's gonna you know be the talk of the town oh I can't believe you ever saw that clean but it's not bad and if you wanted something to cut some firewood with, I can guarantee you the, I believe, 88 cc's that this thing is packing would definitely cut some firewood. So, I will uh, post a link in the uh, kind of subject section of the, of the video uh, with a link to my store because this one will be going up for sale.